Hey guys, this is Annie for WTBD, and today we're in Las Vegas for the Consumer Electronics Showcase 2014. And this year, you're probably going to be hearing a lot about 4K TVs and the smart home, but first we wanted to stop by this digital experience event to take a look at some of the gadgets that you may not have heard about yet, see them with our own eyes, and check out some things that might be in stores or even in your homes pretty soon. This episode of WTBD is brought to you by Toyota. Many of you guys are probably familiar with the Roku box as the affordable set-top option for your home media. And now, today, they've actually announced a TV. Um, tell us what's new in this piece of hardware. Sure. We partnered with uh, TCL and Hisense, uh, two of the largest TV manufacturers in the world, to create Roku TV, which is here behind me. Basically, we took everything uh, we learned in making all the set-top boxes, great content, simple, easy, use interface and great value and put that into Roku TV. So the interface looks very similar to the Roku box, but we've added the TV specific functionality to put it all in one place. So is there anything new in the software or is it mainly just that it's being implanted in a... Um, in a uh, it's all the TV functionality, being able to select the different devices connected to your TV, um, things like picture settings, uh, sleep timer, all the functionality you expect in a TV along with all the content. So I literally have robots like whizzing all around my head where I'm standing right now. Tell us about this guy behind us. Yeah. Hello Annie, so we were introducing at CES some new fantastic toys. Uh, a robot that runs on Wi-Fi with a live video stream. And uh, the interesting thing is this robot is um, capable of jumps, uh, thanks to the swings that you can see here. And I also noticed that you have some miniature drones flying flying yeah. all over the place. Can you tell us a little bit about this? So the new toy we're introducing uh, uh, called the Pilot Mini Drone. And Pilot Mini Drone is a way for kids to be able to fly an AC helicopter in their home. You can uh, bump into walls, or you can even wall on the floor or, or on the ceiling. Um, and it makes, makes it incredibly easy to, to fly because we have an autopilot software and sensors that allows it to know precisely what height it's flying. So I'm sure you can be a pilot too. I don't know about that. I'll try. <laughs> this one might interest in particular those of you who spend a lot of time on the road. This is a tiny dash cam that records continuous video. Tell us about it. Yeah, so this is the Garmin dash cam and it uh, continuously records a wide angle view of the road. Uh, so it gives you peace of mind that if anything happens on the road, it will be captured. Uh, it's fully automated, so once you start the car, it will automatically start recording. When you stop the car, it stops recording. It also has a built-in G-Force sensor, so it will automatically detect any incident. So if you get into an accident or if you hit the brakes very hard, it will detect that and automatically save the files. It, otherwise, it will just overwrite the files, so you don't have to worry about deleting it or you know, a full memory card. So that's very convenient. So basically, you don't have to worry it. You just attach it to the windshield and leave it. And you always know that if you know something happens on the road, uh, you're covered. Wearable tech is another big trend that we're seeing at this year's showcase, and uh, in particular, fitness trackers. And you say that you have the world's most advanced fitness tracker. What do you guys That's have right. that other people don't? Well, so this is an exciting space, right? There's lots of these new devices. Most of them are designed to track steps. They measure motion. So we do that too, but inside the basis band, there are five sensors running all the time, and they're really trying to get at your real physiology. So we measure heart rate and perspiration and skin temperature. Um, we're now doing the uh, tracking of your sleep stages. So light sleep, deep sleep, where your body is physically recovering from the day's activities, and even REM sleep, where your mind is recovering, and which is productive for learning and memory performance. So because we're getting at physiology, we can use that to actually really understand your sleep stages, which has never been done before. So you really have no reason to ever take this off. That's right. We're at 24-7. All right. Well, those were just a few of the things that caught our eye tonight at Digital Experience. Watch this space for more updates later this week from CES 2014. And until then, you can always find me on Twitter, Facebook, Google, or VK, all at Annie Gauss. Thank you for watching. And thanks again to Toyota for sponsoring our CES coverage.